I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Pavilion DM4 model. These are really old laptops but they are still good to go because they have an i7 I believe third generation processors and I made a video how to speed it up, how to replace the battery, how to replace the key and uh, the hard drive to an SSD drive and the RAM to boost up the performance for this model. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard. If you have a keyboard that one of the keys are not responsive or few keys are not responsive, you can't repair this one. So you can just replace it completely. It's really simple how to replace them. It's not like the new laptop that they have to take the whole motherboard, everything out. This one, they just snap it in place from the top part and there's only two screws that hold it in place. So I'm going to take you to the step-by-step -step how to do this process. And again, if you want to find the exact model for your laptop, you can find it at the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. It says Pavilion DM4 and the exact model is DM4-1380 model. And this applies for any DM4 series uh, laptop. So if you have any DM4 series, that's fine. This is for you if you want to replace your keyboard. All right, the first thing first, the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use an iFixit screwdriver set as always because they have one of the good uh, screw bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. Also, you're going to be needing a guitar pick or some sort of really hard skinny metal right here. All right, because they are really tough to bend and soft edges that make it really suitable to opening plastic or covers. All right, first thing first, we're going to remove the battery by removing these triggers all the way to this side and lifting up the battery to we have to remove this cover and this cover to remove this cover we have first to remove the first one on the top there's two screw one right here and one right there these screws they have a seal lock on them that means the screw will not come out entirely except this one that i it was broken so i replaced the screw with a chrome one so go ahead and remove the two screws and then slide the cover towards the battery obviously my screw comes up because it's broken and then you want to lift up the cover from the battery side upward. And there's the C, C locks on the other side. All right. Once you remove that, you're going to remove these two screws. Again, they have a C lock on them. Go ahead and remove them. And lift up the cover. We're doing some modification on the SSD drive. So I put this one in here. Just don't pay attention. Now down here, we're going to focus on the screw that has a keyboard logo right here with an arrow. We're going to remove this screw right there. The screw right over here. And the screw right here with a keyboard logo. So go ahead and remove these two screws. Once you remove these two screws, you're going to open up the laptop. Bring it in this position. Grab the guitar pick. You stick it between F6, F7, somewhere over there, all the way in. Don't worry, it's not going to do a short or anything, all the way down. And then you want to snap it, bend it over the screen, and then you're going to see it opening. Do that, that and put, try to put your finger underneath so it doesn't go back down. And walk your way around to the other side. Do this side, you're going to hear some clicking. Once you have this, just lift it up from the middle. You're going to see this curvature and it's going to pop open. Bring it over like this and set it down this side down. Now there's a lock right here for the flex cable. To remove the lock, simply put your fingernail at the back of the lock and lift it up 90 degrees. This lock comes up in 90 degrees and it slide out the keyboard. So this is your entire keyboard. I'll try to find the link for this one and I'll put it in the video description. Let's say that you got the new keyboard in, you want to set it down in the same position. Bring the flex cable. Remember the flex cable has a little ear lobes on the sides. So this one cannot go straight down. It has to come down in 45 degree to the jack and then sit down on the board. It's like an airplane landing. So bring it down. This one is kind of bent. so. Move it towards the jack in 45 degree angle and then push it all the way towards the motherboard. Make sure it's flat down. So those earlobes prevent it from sliding back out. 
and keep it in there until lock it in place. And next thing is to just lift it over and make sure you put the bottom side of the keyboard down on the palm rest. And then grab it from the middle here, put your finger right underneath so you can twist this one down so you have this curvature a little bit. So you can pop these locks in there and hold it down. And then now do this side, make sure you do tiny clicks and then let go of the middle and then just push down the top side, make sure you hit like a three, four clicks and that should be all. Now you wanna just close it down, flip it upside down. Okay, let me see, I'm done with this one, so I'm gonna remove that. And then what you wanna do, you wanna put the two screw that you removed from here. So put the screw right there and the screw right by the CMOS battery. And the last thing would be to grab the cover, you stick the bottom side of the cover down there first, and then just want to tighten up the screws and the other cover. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you put this cover in with an offset position, and then slide it all the way back, and then lock down the two last screws. I hope you like this video and helped you guys out to replace your keyboard for your HP Pavilion DM4 models. If it did, and if you want to support the channel, just click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will really greatly appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.